So I saw this tweet. It had been retweeted a bunch. It had a GIF that showed all the space debris orbiting the Earth, all this junk. And it's this super compelling image, just like a million little pieces of space junk flying all around our planet. And uh, I thought it would make for a good song. So today's song is going to be about space debris. This is the first episode of As It Happens, a show about writing songs in real time. I'm your host, Jonathan Mann, and I've been writing a song a day since January 1st of 2009. There are infinite ways to approach writing a song, and you never know how it's going to turn out. This could be amazing, or (laughs) it could turn out to be really awful. So let's see what happens. So the, the the very first thing that sort of popped in my head was just, just something very stupid, like, uh, you know, space debris, space debris, you know, surround the earth, it's gonna get me. Just like that, that's like where my mind went the very first. But then underneath the tweet, I saw a reply that said it looked like, you know, we were trying to steal the idea of Saturn's rings. Looks like we're jealous of Saturn's rings Pluto cries and Jupiter sings So for some reason in my head I have the idea of this pipe organ sound It kind of reminds me of something I don't know what it is Oh, I know what it reminds me of It reminds me of a Tom Waits song That's okay, except his is better. Anyway, so um, I've been trying to like come up with at least like slightly more interesting melodies lately. My my melodies, especially when I'm like just not trying, <laughs> tend to be, they don't go around a lot. They, they stay close to the same note. And so I've been trying to make my melodies be at least a little bit more adventurous. Looks like we're jealous of Saturn's rings. So the next thing that I feel like I need to do is come up with a couple more lines. Something about we want what the gods have. We want to make what the gods provide. Getting a little melodramatic, but I think that's okay. We want to make, we want to make what the gods God provide. What the gods provide We wanna make what the gods provide This is the kind of thing that I've been trying to do lately is like not just go with like the first melody that I but also I'm kind of not a good enough singer (laughs) to always pull it off What the gods provide Hold on tight it's a wild ride. See, that's like, then that's like going to a place that I normally go, but that's okay. Okay, let's record this. So now um, logic comes built in with all kinds of beats. No. No. That's interesting. I kind of wish that that was even more kind of 80s dish. I'm gonna um, just see what happens if I put like a, a little bit of reverb on it with like a gate. That, that um, particular snare is very 80s. That sound, that, that's what makes it sound like the 80s. And I'm gonna try to like up that. Now, just be, especially because I don't have a whole lot of time, uh, I think it's just, honestly, it's going to be a space debris chorus. So, so I'm going to find this other beat. I'm going to keep the gated snare. And then I'm going to add in a drummer track. So this is the thing in Logic that you choose a bunch of parameters and it and it makes the drummer drum for you. I wrote a whole article about this on um, iMore, the Mac website, because the drummers have very funny descriptions. But okay, so we're going to choose Maya. Maya's signature sound is a flashback to the 80s. She uses vintage drum machines to create retro-sounding reverb-soaked beats. Cool, Maya. 
Not quite what I'm looking for yet. Let's see what happens if I just have the kick. That's gonna be the chorus. Well, debris, debris. I think it's gonna be like in that sort of zone. Debris, space debris. <laughs> That's sort of where my mind went initially, and I guess it makes for an okay chorus. Falling on you, falling on me. What's that thing called when space debris... It was in that Neil Stevenson book, with the moon, where, where space debris runs into each other. Space debris runs into each other. Something effect, the Kessler effect? Kessler syndrome. The Kessler syndrome, or collisional cascading proposed by NASA scientist Donald J. Kessler in 1978, is a scenario in which the density of objects in low Earth orbit is high enough that collisions between objects could cause a cascade, each collision generating debris which increases the likelihood of further collisions. Right. Okay, so I guess I'm just, I was thinking about some kind of line about like, uh, just like Kessler said, um, junking up space. Chunking up space, just like Kessler said. Chunking up space, just like Kessler said. Space debris raining down on our heads. <laughs> it's all right, you know. Uh, this last line, raining down on our heads, I don't like at all. And what do I don't like about it? Well, it's kind of a throwaway line. It doesn't actually tell us anything. I mean, debris, space debris, falling on you, falling on me, I think gets away with it because it's, it's kind of, poetically, I think it's kind of nice. I realize that that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. I, I like it, and I like the specificity of Kessler. And then I just, I kind of want that last line of the, of the chorus to be also more specific. I'm going to look at a rhyme, rhyme zone and just see if there's any words that jump out at me. Oh, something like, we better stop before the syndrome spreads. That's more specific. It's not very poetic, but it's kind of nice a anyway. It's also kind of dumb. I don't know. Um, there's also bulkhead, which makes me think of um, the space station, right? Like uh, the sa sound of, or like tiny, tiny bullets. Let's do that. Tiny bullets on the bulkhead. This also needs like it has that driving kick drum, so I'm gonna put it in, put in like a driving bass sound to go along with that. Should I use should I use a real bass? I think I should. Okay, so let's do that. All right, let's do this. This bass is extremely noisy. It's like a custom thing that I bought off a guy in Berkeley. Um, again, Logic has a bunch of presets that just make your bass or electric guitar sound a certain way. That's fine. Pippi is home. My daughter is home from school. What do you want to say? Dog. Dog? Song. So, dog song. This song, oh, dog song? You want dog song? Mm -hmm. it's, it's time to take your nap. No, I'm sorry. Mm hmm mm. Okay. Tired. Yeah, she's tight tired. Yeah, she's tired. Okay. Love you, Pip Pip. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Did you go poo poo today? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna record these backup vocals on the on the verse. Looks like we're jealous of Saturn's ring. So then we're gonna add some more backup vocals on the chorus. Debris, space debris. What they need is like a like a like a big old reverb B type thing. So I'm gonna go into my little reverb thing. Space, just like Looks like we're jealous of I think I have to sort of almost actually sing this like Tom Waits for this to work. Oh boy. Okay. 
Pluto is crying and Jupiter sings. So here's what that sounds like now. Pluto is crying and Jupiter sings. Better. But uh, we're already at one o'clock. I still produce songs out the way that I always have, which is all, it's almost all going by my gut. But one thing I've gotten better at is like a less is more approach where in the past I would just kind of like layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. And then I think that's fun, you know, you just like try out a bunch of stuff and you see what works. I, I often think it ends up sounding better when you see how few elements can you add. So I'm adding an electric guitar here. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Something like that. I'm gonna go into the EQ of the guitar a little bit. I had this recording teacher in uh, at college that was talk about the mud. You could, Hey, the mud. You got you, you gotta get rid of the mud. You know it's the mud. Uh, about 250 hertz. You gotta get rid of the mud. You gotta get rid of it. Just take it out. You know, now that I think about it, I think I think now this chorus needs to be bigger. I think it needs probably some harmonies and then also some guitar to go along with it. Space. And then uh, I'm gonna double it. Should I double it higher? Like. Uh, That's kind of cool. It, it adds a lot. Okay, and then put it all together. I think it's okay. Super dry. I think that's how it's gonna end. I think it's just gonna be like, take a little bit of that and, and extend it out. And this is very typical for me, just kind of ending it kind of abruptly. There's a great Pixies quote, I don't know. I think it's a Pixies quote, maybe from Black Francis or Kim Deal or someone where they're saying like their big thing was like they would never wanted to fade out or do like a big rock ending because there's like, you know, infinite ways to end a song. So like why not find the the proper cool way that the song like wants to end. Anyway, here's the thing about Song of Days. Very often this is just like a demo. So like this is what I can do in about an hour. It's like a demo of a song and if it turns out that like you know, two years later, I listen to this and I'm like, oh, there's something in this that I actually kind of like. Then I would come back to it and, um, you know, try to find the way to start it, try to find the way to end it, try to find the little bits that need to be added. But for now, this is enough. Okay, so uh, now at this point in the podcast, we are just going to, like, um, hear the whole song. Looks like we're jealous of Saturn's rings. Pluto is crying and Jupiter sings We wanna make what the gods provide Hold on tight, it's a wild ride to breathe Space to breathe Falling on you Falling on me Jumping up space just like Kessler So, hey, thanks, uh, hello, thanks so much for listening to the inaugural, inaug- inaugural, inaugural episode of As It Happens, colon, song a day. Um, I want to take a second to just talk a bit about my idea for the podcast. I, I, I have no clue if anyone is going to be interested in hearing the process of me writing a song like this, so... You know, the plan right now is to do nine more episodes over the next nine weeks. 
10 episodes total. And at that point, you know, if it seems like folks are enjoying it, I'll keep doing it. And if not, we'll we'll just call it a mini series and, you know, go our separate ways. Um, but what that means is if you like what you heard, you know the drill. Um, the first thing is to tell a friend about the pod cast. Um, someone interested in songwriting, maybe, or maybe not. I, I, I like to think this could be interesting for anyone. Um, of course, rate the podcast and leave a comment on iTunes. What that does is it boosts the show in the rankings on iTunes. And, you know, you'll be surprised how many people just look at what's popular on the rankings there. And that's how they decide what to listen to. Um, if you really want to keep the show going, uh, the, the, the biggest thing you could do is donate to my Patreon uh, patreon.com slash Jonathan Mann. Uh, that goes a long way. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can find me on Twitter at songadayman. That's with two N's. Um, or shoot me an email at jonathan at jonathanman.net. Um, you know, to be honest, I don't really like this space debris song <laughs> all that much. You know, it's kind of blah. Uh, but that's okay. Because there's always tomorrow.